Hello everyone. All right, so today's video is going to be on joint child relationships. Now this is going to be the first in a series of videos where I cover advanced topics related to Architect. But if you haven't seen my crash course to Architect, make sure you go check that out. Uh, that should get you up to speed. Um, and like I said, this is going to be the first in a series of videos. So the idea is if you cover the, the crash course and all the advanced series, you should be totally proficient in Architect. That's the goal. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to talk about joint child relationships for a little bit. Um, more specifically, I want to talk about the scenarios where they come into play. Um, so the example we're going to be using here is if you have, imagine you have a, a store that has a certain status at certain times of the year, right? And you want to use them in certain reports, right? So maybe they're, let's say they're your special stores for, and, and they're only special for certain months of the year, right? So you, you, you imagine you have a table with store, month, and then the status, right? Yes, no, yes, it, yes, this is the special month, no, it's not, right? So how would you use that status in your reports? Well, you'd need to create a joint child relationship because you can only look up that status based on this, not only the store, but the store and the month, right? So that's the idea here. I just kind of wanted to paint the picture before we get started. But without further ado, let's get into the video. All right. Hello, everyone. So today we're going to be talking about joint child relationships. Um, now to start off, I just want to show you a little table I've created here in MicroStrategy um, called LU Joint Relationship Demo. So let's just take a look at this. All right, so simple table. There's only three fields on here, call center, month, and comp flag. Now, comp flag, it's just a flag, right? So those of you that work in retail know what this is. It's basically the comp status of your store. It tells you if you're able to use this store in comparisons to the previous year. But I don't want to get too hung up on that. Just know that basically this is like a store or a call center in this case status, right? Just think of it like that or a flag. That's all it is, right? But in order to look up this flag, it changes based on the month, right? So that's why you have call center and I have call center and month on here, right? So depending on what call center is and what month it is, will determine which flag what the flag value is basically. Okay, so that's kind of like, just to kind of like set up the scenario here of what we're going to be working with. All right, moving on. Next thing I want to show you is what that a report looks like. Oops, what a report looks like with the, just selecting those values from that table. All right, just so you can kind of visualize what's going on here. Let's bring this up. Okay. Oh, let me fix this. There we go. Okay. So this is a simple report that just selects the straight straight values, three straight values from that table. So you can see call center, month, and the flag or the status, whatever you want to, however you want to refer to that. All right, and you see it just varies based on the call center and the month. Okay. Simple, straightforward. So now let me show you how you create the relationships so that you can properly use this flag in your reports. All right, but before we go ahead and create that re joint child relationship, I want to show you what the SQL looks like without creating any relationships, with no relationships. Then I'm going to show you what the SQL looks like when we create it on just one of the attributes. And then finally, we'll create the joint child relationship and show you what, what it looks what the correct SQL looks like and show you how that um, impacts the report so you can see kind of the differences here so because I think by doing it that way I think it'll really show you um, the impact that creating joint child relationships has and, and you know all right so let's 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 jump in here all right so I created this simple report here for demonstration um, so simple it's got call center we want revenue by call center, and we only want um, call centers that have a comp flag uh, of yes. So pretty straightforward here. Now, the the comp flag attribute currently has no attribute on it, has no relationship on it at all. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the SQL looks like. 
But before I run the SQL, let's just double check and take a look at that attribute and make sure. Load the editor here. And okay. And here we'll go to chat children. And you can see it's blank. So there are no there are no relationships defined here. So now let's go back to our report. Let's view the SQL. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. So now remember, we had a filter on a report where we only wanted a comp status of yes, okay? And if you see, there's nothing in the where clause here. So there is no filter being applied to this report. The only thing you see here is the join uh, to the, from the fact table to the call center table. I'm sorry, the call center table, uh, yeah. Fact table to the call center lookup table. That's the only thing you see here. You don't see any, any, where, any where statement filtering on our comp status. However, we've clearly defined it in our report. So, now, the next step, let's define a relationship for this attribute, okay? Only the relationship we're going to define is going to be the wrong relationship. So instead of doing a joint relationship, joint child relationship, we're just going to do it on a single uh, Actually, we'll just do it on call center just so you can see how that incorrectly impacts the SQL and then we'll do it correctly using the joint child relationship and then you'll see the difference. Uh, I think that's the best way to understand what's going on. Okay, so we've opened our comp flag attribute editor. We will click add. We'll just add call center and we'll make this many to many because it should be. It's, it is true. Uh, even though we're doing it incorrectly, you know. So if you look in the bottom here, each comp flag must have a one or many one or many must have one or many call centers. That's true. Each call center can have one or many comp flags. That is also true. So we'll save and close. Let's refresh our schema here, and let's rerun our SQL from our demonstration demo report. And let's look at this SQL now. Okay, now. Now let's take a look at this. So you can see our join on the call center lookup table, no change there. But now you have this ex additional statement in the where clause at the bottom here. This exists. So let me explain this. So what this is saying is, give me the sales for any call center that has a comp flag of yes. So what is this going to do? That's not what we want. We only want the sales for the call sales for the call centers that had a comp flag, flag status of yes during certain months, right? Um, a comp flag of yes will just, this is just going to return everything basically because this is going to return every store, right? Well, based on, you don't know that, but based on uh, the table, this every store at some point, every call center, I should say, at, at some point did have a, a comp status of yes. So just to let you know, th this will end up returning every single call center. So... In effect, that's not what we want, right? We want we don't want every call center in this in our fact table. We don't want the revenue for every call center in our fact table, right? We only want the revenue during those months that that call center had a comp flag of yes. So hopefully that makes sense. Now, next, let's create the correct joint child relationship and see what the SQL looks like then. But actually, before I do that. Let's go ahead and look at the report results so you can see how we should have inflated values or, or high values relative to after we create the joint child, the correct joint child relationship. So let's take a look at our report results. All right, so you can see Atlanta over a million, San Diego almost three million, San Francisco over a million. Okay, so those are our report results with the incorrect relationship. They are inflated. They're just pulling all, all revenue for all months and all, and all call centers. So now let's go ahead and, and create the correct relationship. So let's go to our attribute editor. Let's close. Well, let's close this report first, and then we'll go to our attribute editor. We will edit our comp flag. We'll go to our child children tab. Let's remove what we did before. Let's click add again. Now we'll add call center. We'll also add month. And then down here at the bottom, create as joint child. We will check this box and click OK. Now, 
as you can see here, call center, comma month, relationship, one to many. So let's read down at the bottom here. So each comm flag must have a one or many joint relationship with call center and month. That is true, right? Each month and call cent and each joint child call center and month must have one and only one comm flag. That is also true, right? So a call center month pair, that is how you determine the unique the comp status. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Now let's save and close this. Let's refresh our uh, project schema here. And let's rerun our report SQL. Let's view our SQL. All right, now let's take a look at this. So now you can see the proper join here. So a13, this is our new table. This is our joint relationship table. This is the table, the lookup table for the comp, the comp flag. Okay, A13 is the alias. So now you can see, in order to join A13, down here in the where, where clause, it joins on call center and month. And then it can use that to filter on yes, on a value of yes. Okay. And let's take a look at our results here. Oops. Let's look at the grid view. Okay. So now you can see our values are a lot lower. This Now this seems more in line. Okay. So that'll do it for joint child relationships. Any questions, leave them down in the comments. And thanks for watching. All right. So that'll do it. This is a new channel. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell. And thanks for watching.